What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode three of Helpful Advice. Today, the question is, what everybody know but no one talks about? So what does everybody know but not talk about? I think Diesel has some interesting responses, so let's check them out. The first response by Berlin underscore J6. It's a pretty long response, but we're going to read it. It's the first one that came up. So, they say, the fact that people are on step closer to the inevitable death with every single second that passes. The majority acts as if it was normal, and it's quite right, I must agree. However, the feeling of nothingness eats us from inside. There is no life after death. Our bodies don't belong to us. It's only our soul that we feel we have full control of. The fact that we most likely never know the answers to our questions. The fact that our emotions are nothing but some chemical reactions in our brain. We are happy because of little things that don't even matter at all. These things are wasting our time, which I am not even sure what it is at this point, just because we try to experience some emotions at all. Though there is nothing else to do, there is no straight meaning of life. There is just you and a ridiculous small amount of time on a small planet in a completely unknown universe. Well, Berlin J6, man, that is, that is very deep. What a, what a response to that question. There's a lot to unpack in this question, or in this response, I should say. I'd say quite a lot of this is perspective. So for example, let's look at the fact that our emotions are nothing but some chemical reactions in our brain. Yeah, so that is true. All the emotions that we feel are simply neurochemical reactions in our brain. However, there's, is there anything really wrong with that? I mean, even after knowing that fact, it's not like you're going to experience pain, love, happiness, pleasure, any less than you do now, right? Like once we know this fact, nothing changes. And even though it's true, that's fine. All the emotions we feel are just chemical reactions in our brain. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, after that, they say, we are happy because of little things that don't even matter at all. I totally agree with what he's saying here. It's the little things that count in life. You look back into the major moments and such in your life and you say, oh yeah, that was a really good time. However, it's all those little moments which build up and that's what makes it a good life, I'd say. It's like there's a saying, or I've heard it before, it says, um, no snowflake says it's responsible for the avalanche, but it's all the snowflakes together that cause the avalanche, right? Kind of similar to what this is saying. We are happy because of little things that don't even matter at all. Then they say, these things are wasting our time, which I'm not even sure what it is at this point, just because we try to experience some emotions at all, though there is nothing else to do. There is no straight meaning of life. Um, yeah, well, there is no real one meaning of life, is there? I don't think there is, because we all live such different lives we have since the beginning of humans, and there aren't a set of rules which we must follow, which give a meaning of life. So they're right there. Also, these things are wasting our time. I think a lot of them are, but it depends on the perspective you take. Because if you learn from the things you've been doing, which you could say initially are wasting time, you can learn a lot from it. And then once you do, it no longer becomes a waste of time, right? Because you've learned from the actions you did before. So right now it could look like a waste of time, but it doesn't always have to be a waste of time. It depends on the perspective you take on it. Okay, I could spend a lot more time unpacking this response, but yeah, Berlin underscore J6, that was deep. And that was a good response to the question. Thank you, man. Okay, for our next response, it is by Maverick96. They say that it is exponentially preferable to be kinder and selfless than to not be. That the only way you can be content before your demise is by having no expectations from people, profession and pride. This doesn't mean you're not allowed to have goals and dreams but it simply means that you'll do your best and be okay with the circumstances you're placed in. Okay, this reminds me of stoicism quite a bit. I remember one of the, uh, one like little story or quote that I heard. It goes like this. Someone once asked a stoic, what is the weather like today? And then he replied to his student, 
It's good weather. The student replies, but how do you know it's good weather? You don't know what it's like, or you don't know what the weather actually is. And then the stoic replies, see, I've come to be happy with whatever weather comes in my way because I can't control it. I can only control the way I react to the weather. And so I'm happy with whatever comes my way. This is kind of similar to what Maverick 96 says. It's to not have expectations from people, profession, and pride. You can't really control everything in your life, right? So, ah, a little similarity I just thought of. But also, they're right by saying you'll do your best and be okay with the circumstances you're placed in. That is really good. Because if you're not happy with the circumstances you're placed in, you'll always want more and more and more. And when you do get more, you'll want more after that. You'll never be content. So this is really good advice. The question was though, what everybody knows but no one talks about? I, <laughs> I don't think everybody knows this fact. I think a lot of people live life just trying to climb to the top and they'll say, oh, I'm happy. I'll be happy once I reach the top. But that's not the case. They always want more. So Maverick96, very good response. All right, the last response we'll be looking at, because the other ones were a bit long, is by Batboy0703. And they say, the fact that every minute something horrible is happening, but at the same time, something awesome is happening. Like someone can be murdered, but at the same time, someone is having the time of his life. Yeah, so that's the way our world works, you know? Not everyone is having the best of time, and some people are having the best of times. In this example, it's a bit extreme, but we can generalize that more into the world. For example, you could be watching this in the comfort of your own home, while there could be someone right now outside, you know, homeless and trying to get money from the people walking by. It is sadly something that everyone knows, but no one really talks about, because I guess when you're living the good times, you're not thinking about the bad times, right? At least the majority of people are not. You're just enjoying the, the good time happening at that moment. Hopefully you're living in the present, but yeah, you don't really think about the bad stuff then, right? But then on the flip side, when you're not living the best of times, you often ruminate on the good times you had, or you wish that you're having a good time right now. So that's kind of a distinction. You know, it's not like when you're having a good time, you think about the bad times, but when you're having a bad time, you normally think of the good times. Yeah. People know this, but don't really talk about it. Bad boy. Good response. Okay, that is enough for today, especially because our first, <laughs> our first response was very big, but that's the right, that was a very good response. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was episode three, with many more to come. Hope you learned something new today, like I did. I gained a good new perspective. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.